Peter, this is Jim Reagan here. Uh, thought I'd roll out another video. Hey, I'm on a roll. Might as well keep them coming for you. Um, trying to figure out maybe what I could do to uh, help you guys out. And I thought uh, something that I kind of stumbled upon, uh, stumbled upon a while back was uh, using layers and hidden items. Um, sometimes uh, layers can be a little complicated and maybe not necessarily needed for maybe some of the things you need. You may just need to hide something, but then you need to be able to use actions and triggers to show them. So I thought I'd just do a, hopefully a quick video. I keep saying that, but maybe turn it to 20 minutes. But uh, hopefully we can do something a little bit quicker uh, and give you guys some pointers. So let's get at it. Uh, going over to my virtual account, account. Again, this is my Inform Fitness account. And I thought I'd start off by just showing you. Uh, layers are, I guess, aren't complicated. It's just sometimes they're a little tricky on where they're at and where to put them and whether they're scrollable or not scrollable. We can get into that a little bit later. But if you look at my sticky footer here, which is my glasses on so I can actually see, um, uh, you can see at the bottom here, I've got a sticky, what I call sticky footer. And I've created this so it kind of pops up on the page um, after it. Uh, the page is like on a timer and this footer uh, appears so you can see as i created it it starts as hidden um it's also it's not visible on mobile because this is kind of a full desktop kind of a view um and so i just basically created this back background the text the button the arrow and this picture and it kind of what's kind of cool is as you scroll the picture kind of sticks over a little bit kind of like brings brings some attention to it uh if you really want to bring attention to it i could probably get to turn this uh bar down here a, a bright neon color or something but um when i set that footer up i'm using the actions and events for the page so 60 seconds after the page loads this footer will fade in i used to have it do it like 15 seconds after but i also added uh, a place in the on the page where they can actually click on it as well but um so that's not too complicated um uh, it can get complicated with some of these uh, pull down menus and stuff those are also a uh, sticky kind of you can see all my pull down menus uh, i did a, a tutorial at gymtips.com you can find it on how to create these pull down menus and everything and using then iframes to put them on your pages this is before the header footer elements come out but at times you may still want to use this so that that's available too uh, if you want to check that out but i wanted to uh focus this video really on creating uh hidden elements and how you can do that um let's just do one here real quick uh let's create say I'm just going to use a little, I'm going to use a panel, but um, say you put a little circle with the eye in it, like information, let's say you put that up here in the corner of the, of the there you go, just seeing some of the little bugs, say you have, uh, well, let's, let's, let's play with it, um, let's get this layers off of here, so if I click on that, Let's round the corners. Make it. Let's make it a circle. What the hell? Borders. Again, I'm gonna probably turn this into a. And if I want a radius, I just put a big number in here and I'll make it a circle. It's gonna. It's gonna make it a circle. Uh, instead of trying to guess, look, see the circle up here. Uh, the border, the radius. If you put a big number in there, it's gonna always turn into a circle. If I click on this sucker now. Undo. See live live here. It's always fun. And let's make this uh, background. Let's make it make it this orange color. It sticks out. And so let's do a text box here. And let's just use uh, I for information. I love that. The 
just look at that. Well, the, the text box is obviously over top of our circle, so we want our actions associated with the text box. So as we roll over that text box, um, we're going to create a hidden document, a hidden item. Um, so now we're going to, let's put a picture. Let's just do a picture. What the heck? Let's do a picture of something cool. Pretty ladies in here. It's locked. We're gonna make this a picture, right? And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna say we want this picture to be dark hidden. Boom, right? And when I roll over, oh, the one thing you're gonna have to do with layers or hidden uh, elements, you need to name your element so that it knows when you go to your action you know what to instruct it to do so this is where we name our element this is our text box just going to say we'll just say hidden text box how about that and then we need to name our picture let's name this pretty lady and then we're going to say and we, when we're on this text box, we're going to go back over here and we're going to say actions and events. We're going to add a new action. The event type is going to be mouse movement. As I enter the element, my action would be to show, show target. And my target is going to be, I got a lot of stuff on here. Pretty lady. I'm going to say done. And then when I flip up, click on my hidden image, I'm going to put an action on that. And I'm going to say event type is mouse movement. When I leave the picture of the pretty lady, we're going to hide. Hide target. And what's my target? It's going to be the pretty lady target, right? Done. All right. Uh, I don't want to publish this because <coughs> it's obviously a, a page. So let's look at it in the preview. Let's see if this works. <laughs> Under pressure. You know what? Not too much pressure. I can always hit delete and do it over. <laughs> I guess that's why I don't do live cast. I do videos so I can actually make sure it's going to work before I show you guys. Now, what happens if I roll over? Ooh, look at that. Um. So you can see, this is almost right. If I roll over the eye, she shows up. But then I have to go on the picture and then off the picture for it to delete. If I go down, it doesn't work. So what does that mean? Sometimes these hidden images and things that you do uh, get a little tricky. So we're going to go back to our text box, right? And we're going to go element properties. And we're going to go back to actions and events. Here's our one action. Well, let's create another action. And let's say event type mouse movement. When I roll off of the eye, although, uh, let's do this and then we'll see it probably not going to work. Um, and, I'll, and then I'll explain why. But when I'm leaving that, I want to hide. And I want my target to be, again, pretty lady. Where's she at? Bam. Done. Now let's go back to our preview. Taking it a little bit. And it's working a little bit better today. It's been a little slow. If I roll over here, I roll off of it. See, the problem is now, when I roll off of the eye, and I wanted to like be on the picture, I guess, I guess that might work um, if you're just uh, trying to show information real quick as you roll over it. But there's a chance. And what you'll find on some of these is if you, if I, whoops, if I'm a little fast with my mouse, sometimes it, it'll, it'll stick. Actually, this is working pretty good. So if you roll over an information box and you want to, to uh, 
show somebody. So each one of these could have its own information box that actually told a little bit about it. You know, again, this is just a demo purpose. I wouldn't do this on this page, but I just wanted to show you how uh, you can use hidden elements and it works pretty good. The other thing I've done before is you put maybe the topics down the left hand side with all these different topics and then as you roll over each topic a box over here appears a bigger box that maybe explains what's going on and you can also make it clickable if you don't want it to roll over somebody click on that box and the box appears and you can click an X in the corner to close it or whatever but again I'm going to try to keep this short again it's only 10 minutes uh, half, half, the, half the time as my previous videos just wanted to get another one in real quick if I had a chance. And uh, hope that helped you again on how to use hidden, uh, hidden elements. And uh, if you're working and you got a bunch of hidden elements out here too, there's one more thing you could do. Is you can, right now I'm showing all the hidden elements. If I click on that, you can see she disappears because she's now hidden. Um, if you can't find your hidden elements, you need to do the opposite. You want to go back in and click, and then she appears again. So, And then as you click on the image, you can always go up here and check to make sure it's hidden like it's supposed to be. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have anything else you want me to try to put up for you guys, give me a holler in the comments. And uh, I will see you next time. Again, go over to gemtips.com. I'll put this video in there. I just got done putting the other three videos I did. Uh, uh, last week in or this week, I guess, I don't know, uh, in the membership site. So they're all in there now. So uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.